Hey guys, Hugh Shang here. Welcome to another StarCraft 2 lesson. In today's video, we're going to be covering rapid fire warpins. And I have the fastest warpins in the West. So even if you know how to do this already, you're going to want to pay close attention. I got some secret tips I'm going to share you guys to get these insanely fast. Let's take a look. <laughs> Gets me every time. All right. I'm going to show you guys how to do this. Uh, there's a couple things you need to do. There's a couple of pitfalls uh, as well. So I'm going to make sure we cover uh, everything in super ultra detail. First thing you're going to want to do is come in here to options. Options. <laughs> and then you're going to come down to hotkeys. And you're going to make a profile if you don't have one already. So create profile. You're going to choose your profile. For me, it's Hushang Prodas. And once you have that, you're going to come down to global. Click on global. Then you're going to go to unit management. And you're going to scroll down till you find choose ability or AI target. Then you're going to click on that. And if you haven't done this already, it'll look like this. So you're going to click add alternate. And then you're going to type in whichever key you want to use for your rapid fire warpins. For me, I use three keys. And the reason is I'm going to use one for each gateway unit. So I'm going to have one for Stalker, one for Adept, and one for Zealot. For me, the key for Zealot is X. I'm going to show you how to change that as well. But set one for now that you're going to use. So I think X doesn't have any conflict. So you're probably safe to use X. And then you can come into Protoss. Go down to the gateway. And in the warp gate section, you're going to make corresponding keys for our rapid fire keys. We're going to set more rapid fire keys in a second. Actually, let me show you that. So you can see right now, I can only set one key, but there's a way around that. I'm going to show you. So just set one for now and then come into Protoss and gateway warp gate. And you're going to set each of these keys to a different, uh, different key. So for me, I have zealot. Regular warp in a Z, rapid fire is X. You don't really need to do that, to be honest. You can just uh, have one key. So add alternate X. For stalker, I have R. And for adept, I have uh, W. Okay, once you've done all that, you have the rapid fire keys set, just one of them. And then you also have the warp gate key set. Then you can accept. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to quit. Oh, by the way, that uh, is called the LOTV Unit Tester Online. So if you want to go check out, uh, make sure that your keys are working properly, then go into Custom, Arcade, type in LOTV Unit Tester Online. And you can click this one and then Create Lobby. But OK, let's do the other rapid fire keys. Because we only have one right now. We only can rapid fire zealots at the moment. So you're going to want to right click any of your replays. Then you're going to press show in folder. And that's going to take you to uh, your Windows folders. <clears throat> Should be able to see that. Yep. Okay. Then, this is just a shortcut by the way. You, you could technically go documents, StarCraft 2, accounts. Uh, and then your account number. But nobody has time for that. So you're going to click on your account number now. Oops. Sorry, let me show you that again. You're going to click on your account number and then you're going to go to hotkeys and you should see your hotkey profile so you're going to click on that and actually you're going to right click it and you're going to go to open with um, and because you might not have it set up to open with notepad which is what we want so you're going to want to open this as a txt file so you go open with and then you click on notepad. You're probably not going to see it here though. So what you're going to want to do is click choose another app. And then you're going to click more apps. And then you're just going to scroll down till you find notepad. Then you're going to click notepad. And you can click this if you want. And then OK. All right. So that's going to open the TXD file. Let's open this up a little bit. And you're going to want to scroll down till you find target choose. So here's target choose. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to add the extra keys that we need for other rapid fire keys. So for now, I just have um, X, but I want to do comma. And it's very important that you capitalize it. R, comma, capital W. You can use whichever keys you want. Just know that it's going to be rapid fired. <laughs> so um, let's say you have your robo on R. What's going to happen is every time you go to build a robo, if you just hold down R, it's going to place the robo wherever you have your mouse. So it's a little bit important that you don't have any uh, abilities or buildings on the same key. So X is nice because there's no other buildings on X. R is nice because only the robo is on R. So you can just change robo to like E and then W, same thing. There's actually there's warp gate on W, I guess, right? I don't think it matters. So W should be good as well. So XRW. All right, we're going to save this, but but there's a problem. Um, if you save it right now, then StarCraft is going to override it and it's not going to work, which really frustrated me <laughs> when I was learning how to do this. So to avoid that, we're going to shut down StarCraft. And now we're going to save it. And then we're going to reopen StarCraft 2. And once we get back in StarCraft 2, we're going to test it out, make sure it works. Don't go anywhere yet, though, because I haven't shown you my uh, my su super ultra fast warping method. And uh, you're going to want to you're going to want to know how to do this because it's uh, ludicrous. It's ludicrous speeds. Oh, let me let me log into the right account here. This is not the one that I showed you on. And uh, I actually want to make sure I didn't break all my keys. Make sure I know what I'm talking about here. So let's go custom. Let's go arcade unit tester. I have a bookmark, so I'm cheating, but you can type it in. Okay. And after this, you you actually might. <clears throat> have the rapid fire at a pretty slow rate right now, but we're gonna fix that shortly. So just make a probe Make a few gates Let's not make too many like last time because we don't want this tutorial to be half an hour Let's research warp gate and if you check down here, you should see that My zealot is X, stalkers R, adept is W. Let's try it. Adept. Boom. Perfect. Okay, so how do we get this this fast? There's a couple things we need to do. Make sure you test it all your uh, all your units, by the way, because you don't want to play ladder game and be trying to make stalkers, and you can't. That would suck super hard. So test them all out, then come to Windows, and you're going to type in Control Panel. Okay, once you have Control Panel open, you're going to type in Keyboard. You're going to click on the green keyboard. And then you're going to set your repeat delay, which is basically the delay between the first key and the second key. I actually don't think that's changing anything because I have it changed in the registry. But normally it would be like this. And we're going to talk about the registry in a second. But if you want the easy way to do this, the slightly slower way, then you're going to do repeat delay all the way to short, repeat rate all the way to fast. Boom. Done. Okay. Apply. We're good. But... But if you want the super ultra fast method, you're going to go to your Windows registry, registry editor. I think this is a default program. I don't think I downloaded this. Um, should be good. And then you're going to go to uh, computer. You're going to go to H key current user. Um, so you'd have it like this. You're going to open that. Then you're going to find control panel, open it up. Accessibility, open it up. And then you're going to find a uh, keyboard response. Now, this is editing uh, the registry. So you should be careful not to edit anything else in here. Um, and it's recommended that you save. But if you're careful and just only change the keyboard response, you'll be fine. And what we're going to do is you can just copy my values. But basically, the key ones we want to change are auto repeat delay. So this is the delay between the first key and the second key. So I have it at 25 milliseconds. 
I'm, I'm pretty sure it's in milliseconds. And then the auto repeat rate is six. So you can change this to whatever you want. You might want to make this higher if you're not super adept at typing because if you have it really low and you're a slow typer where you hold down keys, then what happens is you're going to repeat characters. But since I'm hardcore StarCraft, I have it ultra, ultra low. And this is what's going to make it super fast uh, to rapid fire warp in. So I'm going to keep that at 25. Then you can come into uh, StarCraft. And let me make a couple more gates. And you can see now that, you know, when I hold the key and start moving my mouse around, it's instant. There's no delay between the first and second warp in. Boom. Ultra, ultra fast. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to like and subscribe. I've got lots more StarCraft 2 content on the way. And if you guys are interested, I also do coaching. So if you want some one-on-one -on -one lessons, check out my website in the description. And we also offer group coaching, which I think is a little bit under uh, undervalued right now. It's actually pretty awesome. We've got a bunch of guys hanging out, doing some scrims, and doing some dedicated practice where I am coaching. So if you're interested in that, you can click the join button. It's the elite tier or higher. And yeah, I think it's really, really awesome. We get to, uh, you know, really hone in on some mistakes you're making, hang out with some cool guys and uh, yeah, and just improve together. So really, really cool stuff. Um, other than that, if you have some questions, if, uh, if you can't figure out how to do the rapid fire, make sure to let me know in the comments. And that is all. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.